This is our first night at II campsite. Uh, when they had all the heavy rain, it washed all the campsites away. So we're actually camping on the, I think, recreational type area on the grass. You can see as you come down the hill where the water has run down into the campsite here. But otherwise it's cooking hot. Uh, and I think it's because we're in the mountains here. Probably no cool air can go through here. It's a very hot wind blowing. And that's where we camped. Not putting the awning up because it's only a two night stop. Uh, and we're sort of under the tree of it. So it should be fine, eh? This is where all the damage to the campsites took place here. Yeah when the water ran through. Yeah, the flood damage, I've just spoken to a guy now, was all from this river, which is obvious, obviously the fish river, I think, that runs through the canyon. And they've got a bit of a retaining wall all along. But it wasn't enough. So there must have been a huge amount of water that came through here. It's the campsite right at the back there, where the wall is. Beautiful reflection in the water here from the mountains. Clouds in the water. We could definitely do with one of those now. Although it's still early in the morning. It was so hot yesterday. Amperdar. Nearly. Yeah. Nearly there. This is inside a. I, uh, I don't know whether it's like a part of the hot springs that you. They bring the water here, it's like a spa almost, eh? Beautiful. 
very very nice where roses that leads into the room all these doors going into the rooms We're not staying in the rooms, we're camping. <laughs> and rooms upstairs here too that obviously look out to the mountains at the back here. Nice swimming pool. This was part of the campsite. A lot of damage being done there. All the soil is washed washed away. This is part of the hot spring. The water yesterday when we came in was 65 degrees. It's hotter than our hot water at home. And Rose was reading in the showers that when there's a lot of people here you need to let the shower run for 10-15 minutes if you want hot water because the hot water evidently comes from the hot springs. No geese are necessary. And that sign is exactly true, eh? Yeah, I put my toes in it and I, it was like a burn. It's water out your geese, eh? Right? Don't try and jump in here or put your whole foot in, you're going to burn it. This is a road leading into Fish River C Canyon II. Somebody was telling us at II there that Namib Namibia has never been like this before. He says, you as we go higher up as well. I think the south and the southwest, according to somebody else, that's where most of the rain was. Found this along the road. Not quite sure what it is. Whether it turns into a flower or if anybody knows what it is, maybe pop it in. Let us know. Namibians. Oh, you can hear my stomach groaning. It's lunchtime.
Clouds always make such a difference to the sunrise and sunsets. Without the clouds, it would be very plain. And our gravel net is working well so far. Seems to be keeping all the stones. The dust still comes through it, but that's not the problem. Stopped to have breakfast on the way from Aya to Hobus. We didn't have breakfast when we got up so that we could get the sunrise. We were just in time for that, of course. We've just arrived at Hobus campsite, Fish River Canyon.
this is all changed, huh? Yeah, it is. Good morning, how are we? Good morning. Good things, sir. Eh? No, we're going to no, camp. No, we're going to camp. No, we're camping. South Africa. Okay, you may just park it the other side. Okay. And then go to reception, yeah. Okay. Okay. Great stuff. Thank, Thank you. you very much, eh? This is our campsite at Hobus. It's number three. Uh, you're in the shade for the morning, but I think this afternoon we'll be in the sun.
and anybody coming to Hobus here yeah, needs to do the II camp as well because the road from II to here is absolutely beautiful. So it's really maybe now too with all the flowers and the grass and maybe a lot nicer now but you also see some parts of the canyon which you don't see at Fish River Canyon. They're busy chopping the trees up that were washed, that were damaged in the, when they had the floods here at Hobus. It flooded the whole campsite. And that was not now, it was I think two or three years ago we saw it. View site of Fish River Canyon. We'll have a look from here. I think morning will be much better yeah, because the sun will be... Well that's what we said last yeah. time, the sun yeah, shines true. in your eyes eh? Oh, there's water running down there. Sure, lots of water. Don't know how the sound is going to be. There's wind blowing, but that's the river at the bottom running.
than a piece of denim cloth. <laughs>